What's up mga science? So we're going to talk about the musculoskeletal system which performs functions important for movement. So we'll start first with the chapter concept map. That starts first with the human body. The human body has a musculoskeletal system that can be divided into two. The muscular system and the skeletal system. The muscular system consists of the muscles and have types, smooth, skeletal, and cardiac muscles. For the skeletal system, it consists of the bones, cartilages, and the joints. So in our discussion about the musculoskeletal system, we have here the bones, cartilages, joints, and muscles. Your musculoskeletal system is made out of your skeletal and muscular systems. These two systems work together to move the different parts of your body, which are parts of your bones, cartilages, and joints that make up the skeletal system, while your muscles make up the muscular system. Now to the parts and functions of the musculoskeletal system. Your bones and muscles work together most of the time. Here are some of the functions of the musculoskeletal system. Let's start first by talking about the posture and support and shape of the musculoskeletal system. Now, the skeleton provides a framework for attachment and support to muscles and tissues. Without your bones, your body cannot stand upright. Together, muscles and bones shape your body. Your posture is brought about the proper alignment of the bones and muscles. Next is protection. Try to touch your head. Do you feel the bone protecting your head? The bone on your head is the skull. The skull protects your brain. The rib cage protects the heart and the lungs, while the vertebral column protects the spinal cord. Your bones protect many of your vital organs. The third one is movement. When you run, swim, or lift a heavy object, your bones and muscles are in action. The body movement is caused by the muscles that pull the bones. Next is the production of red blood cells. Your bones produce blood cells. The tissue in the interior bones are called the bone marrow. It's where new blood cells are produced. So the musculoskeletal system is also a mineral storage. Mainly, bones serve as the reservoir for essential minerals like calcium and phosphorus, which make bones strong. So we're talking about mainly the bones here in parts of the musculoskeletal system. Now, the skeletal system can be divided into axial and appendicular skeleton. So, study the picture here. The axial skeleton consists of the skull, the vertebral column, and the ribs. These bones protect the body's vital organs, while the appendicular skeleton talks about the upper limbs, which contains the arms and hands, the lower limbs, which contains the legs and feet, and our shoulder girdle. Now, the human skeleton is also composed of cartilage and bones. We will start first with the bones. The bones with the outer covering called peristium. It protects blood vessels within the bone. The blood vessels bring nutrients and remove waste from a fractured part of the bone. Next is the cartilage made out of flexible connective tissue which allows smooth movement. Cartilages protect bones from rubbing against each other. And as you can see here, another cushion for parts of the cartilage is what we call a synovial fluid. And we are here we have the perosteum. Now the cartilage found in your chest holds the ribs together into one rib cage. The rib cage allows the lungs to expand as you breathe. However, as you grow, some cartilages are replaced by your bones. Now, we'll move on to the joint. A joint is a point where two bones meet and are held together by a tough tissue called ligaments. Joints are classified according to the movement they allow. Let's start first by talking about the immovable joints or what we call fixed joints. Now, fixed joints or immovable joints are fibrous joints which are firmly attached to one another. 
these joints have the same dense materials that make up your bones. Hence, no movement is allowed. The sutured joints in your skull is an example of an immovable joint. As you can see here, these are not cracks that are found in the skull, but mainly these are immovable or fixed joints which are placed in our skull. Next is slightly and partially movable joints, which allow partial or slight movement due to the presence of the cartilage. As you can see here, the difference between the spinal cord and the vertebral column is different from each other. The vertebral column consists of what we call the spinal cord. So the discs of the cartilage between bones are slightly movable joints. They keep the bones stacked on top of one another and give the spine some flexibility. These kinds of joints allow you to bend a little to the left or right. Lastly, we have freely movable or synovial joints, which allow a wide range of movement. They are cushioned with cartilage and held together by ligaments. Example, movable joints are gliding joints, pivot joints, ball and socket joints, and saddle joints. This includes also hinge joints. So next, we're going to talk about the types of movable joints or synovial joints. Let's start first by talking about the pivot joint, which is found where bones turn on each other and allow rotation. The top two vertebrae that supports the skull from the pivot joint that allows the head to turn to the right and left, which are your pivot joints. These are your elbows, which are also part of it. Next is the ball and socket joint. The ball and socket joint allows the arm or leg to move in almost any direction. In these joints, the knob-like end of an arm or thigh bone fits into a bony cup in the shoulder blade or hip bone. Ball and socket joints allow the arm or leg to move in almost any direction. Next, we have the third one, we have the saddle joints. Saddle joints allow the bone to move from back and left to right. Your thumbs, which are also an example of this one, are connected to your hands by saddle joints. The saddle joint in your thumb is what gives your thumb the ability to reach across the palm of your hand and touch your other fingers. On to the second to the last movable joint, we have the gliding joint. The gliding joint allows flat surfaces of bones to slide over each other. These joints give you the ability to walk on uneven surfaces and move your hand to left and right. And lastly, we have the hinge joint. The hinge joint allows bones to move in one direction. These joints are found in the knees, elbows, fingers, and toes. Now we move on to the common ailments of the skeletal system. Although bones are tough, they break if too much force is exerted on them. When bones break or crack, it's called a fracture. Another example of a common ailment would be dislocation an injury to a joint. This happens when two bones get disconnected or dislocated from the normal positions. This injury temporarily deforms or immobilizes your joint. Up next is sprain. A sprain is when ligaments tear or break. Like a dislocation, a sprain is also painfully swollen. Another one is arthritis. Arthritis is when cartilages wear away. It causes inflammation and swelling in the knee or elbow joints. This one is scoliosis. It refers to the abnormal curvature of the spine once posture is influenced by this condition. Now, as you age, your bones start to lose minerals. The mineral loss can lead to osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is the condition in which bones weaken and break easily. Bones develop big spaces, reducing their density and strength. The last common ailment here is rickets. Rickets results from vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D promotes calcium absorption and rickets distorts and softens the bones. Let's move on to the muscular system. Your body has more than 600 muscles that bring about movement. 
Your muscles are at work when you dance, jump, or run. Your body has more than 600 muscles that bring about movement. Now your muscles are responsible for body movements. Muscles are capable of different types of movement. Muscle movement may be voluntary or involuntary. When you smile, lift your hand, dance, run or walk, voluntary muscles are at work. Now have you tried controlling your heartbeat? Were you able to do it? Your heart beats on its own. It cannot be controlled because it is made of involuntary muscles. Here we have the three types of muscle tissues, skeletal muscles, cardiac muscles, and smooth muscles. We'll start first by talking about the skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscles are attached to the skeleton that make the bones move. They are mostly voluntary muscles. When viewed under a microscope, they appear to have stripes or striations. Next is the cardiac muscle. Cardiac muscles are found in the walls of the heart. They are also involuntary muscles. Like skeletal muscles, cardiac muscles are also striated. Lastly, we have the smooth muscles. Smooth muscles form parts of the internal organs like the bladder, stomach, intestines, and the blood vessels. They are non-striated like cardiac muscles. Smooth muscles are involuntary. Now we're going to talk about the common ailments of the muscular system. Muscles can also be injured. A muscle strain or muscle pull or muscle tear may be caused by overstretching. We have here an example of a pulled hamstring. At the back of the thigh is a tear or strain of one of the muscles or tendons. Another example is a cramp, which is a sudden involuntary contraction of the muscles. It is usually accompanied by a severe pain for several minutes. Next is tetanus. Tetanus is a disease caused by a bacterium Clostridium tetani. It affects the nerves causing muscles to tighten. Tetanus may also cause locked jaw. The infection causes the muscles of the jaw and the neck to stiffen. A person can be infected with the bacterium that enters the body through cuts or wounds. Fortunately, it can be prevented by a tetanus vaccine. Next is muscular dystrophy. Muscular dystrophy is a genetic abnormality that weakens the muscles. It is characterized by a muscle deterioration or weakness. As a result, people with this disorder lose their ability to move and do simple activities, like for example, walking, running, or lifting things. Let me share to you some ways to properly care for your musculoskeletal system. Your bones and muscles need to be cared of to work well. Study some of these practices to show care for the bones and muscles, like for example, exercise. Your bones and muscles benefit a lot from exercising. Regular exercise such as running stimulates bone production in the bone cells, called osteoblasts. To make new bones, it also strengthens the muscles and your body remains in good shape when you exercise. Second, we have adequate sleep. Every day, your bone and muscle cells wear and tear as you do your activities. When you are sleeping, your body repairs bone and muscle tissues. Hormones stimulate bones and muscles to grow. Lastly would be proper nutrition. Food also plays an essential role in making bones and muscles strong and healthy. Do you like milk, cheese, or yogurt? These are some of the few examples of foods enriched in calcium. Your body uses calcium to build healthy and strong teeth and bones. Your body also needs vitamin D to absorb calcium. Magnesium is another mineral that promotes healthy bones. And lastly would be seafood and meat, which are good sources of magnesium. Other examples would be meat, eggs, and fish are also good sources of your protein. Proteins help build and repair muscle tissues. Your meal should also include carbohydrates. Carbohydrates provide energy that the muscle use in doing activities. The human body has a musculoskeletal system that can be divided into two, the muscular system and the skeletal system. The muscular system consists of the muscles and have types, smooth, skeletal, and cardiac muscles. For the skeletal system, it consists of the bones, cartilages, and the joints. 
If you have questions about the topic, feel free to type it in the comments below. If you learned something today, don't forget to like this video and if you're interested in more educational videos to come, click that subscribe and notification bell to be notified on the latest videos. I'll see you guys on my next video. And don't forget, you are your only limit.